Want to install Linux but stuck at step one? Let's fix that in five minutes. Hey everyone, welcome back to Technical Junaid. In this quick and easy tutorial, I'll show you how to create a bootable USB for any Linux distro using Rufus, a powerful and free tool. Whether you're trying Ubuntu, Linux Mint, or even Fedora, this guide has you covered step by step. Here's what you'll need before we start. A USB drive, at least 8 GB or more. The Linux ISO file, like Ubuntu or Fedora. And Rufus, the tool that makes everything super simple. Ready? Let's get started. Step 1. Open your browser and head over to rufus.ie. Once you're there, just click the download button to get the latest version of Rufus. It's lightweight and totally free. Next, plug in your USB drive. Rufus will detect it instantly. Make sure it's at least eight gigabyte or more and has no important files since everything will be erased. Now under boot selection, click select and choose the Linux ISO you downloaded, whether it's Ubuntu, Fedora, or any other distro you like. Here, I am creating a bootable USB for Ubuntu. You can choose your favorite distro. The process is same for all Linux distros, this part is important. Under Partition Scheme, pick MBR if your system uses Legacy BIOS or pick GPT if it's UEFI. If you don't know your system's Partition Scheme, follow these steps. Right-click on the Start menu and select Disk Management. Once the Disk Management window opens, find the drive where Windows is installed, usually Disk 0. Right-click on that drive, often labeled as C, and select Properties. In the Properties window, click on the Volumes tab. Under Partition Style, you'll see either GPT, GUI Partition Table, or MBR, Master Boot Record. Now select the required partition scheme in Rufus, according to your system, GPT, or MBR, based on what you found in the Volumes tab. Leave the other settings just the way they are. No need to change file system or cluster size. Then hit Start, here, select Write an ISO Image, Mode Recommended, and click OK. This is your last chance to select the correct USB drive. If you choose the wrong drive, all data on it will be permanently erased. Double check before proceeding. Now just sit back while Rufus writes the ISO to your USB. It usually takes a few minutes, and once it's done, you're all set. Once Rufus finishes, you'll see ready at the bottom. That means your bootable Linux USB is done. To test it, just restart your computer, press the boot key like FD or ESC, and select your USB drive. If your system uses the MBR partition scheme, select the legacy USB drive. If your system uses the GPT partition scheme, select the UEFI USB drive. Selecting the wrong one may lead to boot errors or installation failure. You should see your Linux distro starting up. If it works, you are good to go. Bonus tip, keep this USB handy. You can use it to try Linux without installing or even repair systems if something breaks. And that's it. You just made your very own bootable Linux USB the easy way. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to Technical Junaid, and drop a comment if you have any questions. I reply to everyone. See you in the next one.